Hey, I'm Dave with Tahoe Mountain Sports, and we're here today to talk about the Deuter Streamer Reservoir and the Camelback Antidote Hydration Reservoir. And these are the two of our most popular hydration reservoirs that we have, and I'm going to point out some of the differences and let you guys make your decision as to which one you think is best for you. Starting out, um, they're both BPA free. Right now I'm holding a 3 liter Deuter Streamer, I'm holding a 3 liter Camelback Antidote. And what I'm going to point out are some of the differences first in the openings. So here's my Deuter Streamer. And when I go to open the Deuter Streamer, what you're going to notice is it's a very easy open. Slides right across the top. There's one open end and one closed end on this. And then this just folds and it's a top open. So if I was um, filling this up at the sink, basically I'm just going to put this under a sink and pour water into it and then it's very easy to close back up. One of the other nice things about what I call this vertical opening is that when it is time to clean this reservoir, I can stick my entire hand, arm, I can get on in there, and it's very easy to clean, okay? So that's one thing on the opening. When I go to close it back up, I simply fold it over and take the open end and slide it right back on. And it's as simple as that. Now for the opening on the Camelback, the Camelback is, uh, is a little bit different. It has a nice tab right here so you can hold it like that. If you can see here, right now we're closed. There's an arrow on the um, pointing towards the top. You simply turn that to the O and that opens right up. It's basically a quarter turn. Once you have that, you can then hold it, under your, uh, hold it under your sink or your faucet or whatever you're filling it up with. And as soon as you're ready to close it back up, you line up the arrow with the open area, pop it in there, and then give it a quarter that turned back. We're now totally closed on the Camelback. So a couple of different opening types. There were some old Camelbacks that used to be hard to thread. It took about two or three turns. This is the newest version of the Camelback Reservoir, and it's a quarter turn. A couple of other things, um, they both have quick release points, so I can pull out both hoses, making it very easy both to clean and to manage if I was to refill while out on the trail. The Deuter one also clicks right out at the base as well. Two similar features. Um, some of the features that you can't quite see that are actually part of the reservoir itself is what's inside the reservoir. Sometimes we get a lot of folks who like to complain um, that there's mold or dirt or grunge on the inside of their reservoirs. Um, they're both BPA free and I did mention that, but there are some differences. Camelback, or, or really the reason why grunge and dirt grow in your reservoir is that on the inside of the reservoir, there are microscopic holes and in those holes, in those cavities, is where dirt and mold all grow. And so on the Camelback, it is a very rough interior and the Camelbacks we do tend to see tend to grow mold or they tend to um, grunge up a little bit more quickly than the Deuter Streamer Reservoirs. What the Deuter Streamer Reservoir has, and you can almost see the difference sort of in the opacity and color of the reservoir itself. But the Deuter Streamer Reservoir has what they call a grunge guard that lines the inside. And what that means is that there's a very microscopic layer, thin layer of glass that coats the entire inside of the reservoir. What this does is it creates smooth surfaces on the inside and therefore no flavors, no grunge, no mold have a place to grow. And so we do see sometimes longer lifetimes out of these Dorita reservoirs in terms of their cleanliness and in terms of the lack of grunge and mold that does grow in them. Both of them you can attach insulator tubes to as well, so that's not an issue. Skipping down to sort of the next most important part for everybody is the uh, bite valves. As you can see on these mouthpieces, you have the Deuter and the Camelback. The Deuter is nice. It comes with this dirt guard that just pops right off as such. And then when you go to open and close, simple turn one direction, open, closed. On the Camelback, there's no dirt guard, but you still have the open and close valve. So open, closed. 
And then really, as you guys can see, the size of the Deuter is a little bit bigger than the size of the Camelback. Uh, some people like that, some people don't. The Camelback is a little bit easier to uh, bite down on and get water out of. The Deuter is a little bit harder. For that reason, I also think there's a durability issue, whereas this Deuter streamer will last a little bit longer, and it's a little bit more difficult to sort of bite a hole into with your teeth, which I have seen also happen, especially in the winter time. If these get frozen, people tend to chew on them or bite on them and create holes, uh, and the Deuter does seem to last a little bit longer. With that said, there are accessories on the market to replace both bite valves as soon as you need to do that. Quickly, with regards to price, I wanted to point out the Camelback Antidote 3 liter reservoir is $35. The Deuter Streamer 3 liter reservoir is $32. So there is a $3 price difference. And a couple of things that I also didn't mention was um, when you're choosing one, we get asked this a lot. Should I go with 2 liters? Should I go with 3 liters? I personally always like to recommend a 3 liter reservoir because what it allows you to do is fill it up all the way if you're going out for a long ride or a long hike or a long trip. But if you're not going out and you're only going out for an hour or so, you have the ability to just fill it up halfway or a quarter of the way and just use the water that you need so that your pack isn't exactly the heaviest thing out there. The other point to um, to show to demonstrate is the drying system on the Camelback Reservoir and what you have is two tabs right here under the under the under the lid that come on out and so when you're drying this and there's water in it now but when you're drying it and you go to hang it up these tabs help to hold the reservoir uh, at a at an optimal drying position so that is a very nice feature of the Camelback Reservoir that I think is worth noting that's basically your differences between your Deuter Streamer Reservoir and your Camelback Antidote Hydration Reservoir.